Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I figured I get a lot of questions on how I edit my Instagram photos, so I was gonna show you guys that really quickly just on some apps that I use um, before I post them. I've been posting on my Instagram store, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I'm posting this like green juice that I would drink almost every morning if I have time to make it the night before, or if I'm not working, I make it like after I go to the gym or like when I wake up or something. So I was gonna show you guys quickly what I put in the juice. A lot of people have been asking me like what's in it? Is it just celery? Um, how it tastes? So I was gonna just show you guys what I put in it and how I quickly edit my Instagram photos. So we'll start with Instagram photos. So I was gonna show you guys. I'm gonna post this picture for one of these brands. It's this photo. It's actually in this kitchen. This is just like taken on the iPhone. Roman takes it um, always on my photos on the iPhone. We don't ever do photography like on a camera. And I love the content on the iPhone and just how the pictures show and just come up. They look like super natural, but not like too photography. I don't really like like super photography type photos. I like how they are for like fashion or like makeup or beauty and stuff, but just for like swimsuits or clothing, like if I'm just at my house, I'm not gonna take it on the camera. I just don't really like how it looks. I was gonna just show you guys quickly. I'll go into, I keep them in like folders. So this is like my photography type one, so I'll go to Facetune. And yes, I use Facetune. Some people are like anti-Facetune or comment like Facetune. I don't actually like Facetune my entire self. I kinda like detail, so I go to the detail on Facetune. It's hard for you guys to see because I'm like doing it, but I'll go to detail and I'll kind of like detail my hair. Can you guys see this? So yeah, I'll kind of like detail my hair, my lips, my earrings. Um, sometimes bathing suit make it look a little better. Maybe like my abs a little bit, make them more defined. Sometimes I'll go to like the smooth, it's all down at the bottom. Like if you see all of these on the app, you'll see like how they all say like that. So I'll go to smooth and I'll kind of just like smooth my skin. I don't like rub it, I don't want it to look too smooth. Kind of just dab um, where I want it to be more smooth. Kind of just all over. I mean, no one's skin is like super smooth, but I like it to look a little smoother. So it kind of looks like that. And then I'll go to Lightroom, this one. Click the photo. And if you guys download Lightroom, it'll be easier to follow along, or you guys can rewatch this video and see how I did it. It's very easy. So you just go to light, and you can put the exposure, I like to put the exposure up, the contrast up, the highlight down, and shadows down, whites up. Then I'll go to effects, then I'll put the grain a little bit up. This just makes it look not so smooth and a little bit more structured. And then I'll go to detail and I'll put the sharpening up just a little bit. Like that. And then I'll press save. Then I will go on Instagram and I'll press post. I like to kind of be more zoomed in instead of pulled out. And then I'll go to edit. This is just the Instagram app. And I'll do the brightness up depending on the photo. If I take like a photo more in the dark or with flash, I'll put the brightness up a bit. But if it's like natural daylight, like this type photo, I don't like to make it too bright because I want my body to look tan. So I put the brightness up to like three. And when I say like brightness up a little, like you can, you don't guys don't need to do like the exact same number as me. You kind of just, you can see how it's looking. I usually don't do more than like five on the brightness. And then for structure, I put it up to like two. Warmth, I love warmth because it makes you look tan. I put that to like three. Saturation makes you look tan. I put that to like two. Highlights down to about negative eight. This just makes your skin complexion look a little bit darker and that background look better. And then same with shadows, probably down to about negative. And then the, I think it's called Vignette. I don't know how to, I may have to pronounce that wrong, but it's like, it makes like if you see, it's hard to see on the camera but it like makes it really like dark in the back. See how it kind of like shadows it out? So I like to make the background a little darker. So I normally do like an eight to a 10 save. So it's like a draft in my Instagram. So when I'm ready to like post, I just go like this, this, and I post it. So that's kind of what I do with all my photos. If I gather photos like on the weekends or whenever I have time to take photos, I kind of just edit them, draft them, and then I just have them like ready to post. Um, but yeah, it's super simple. That's kind of like what I do to edit my pictures, little face tune, little Lightroom, and then a little bit on the Instagram app. The Instagram app is like 
probably my favorite thing. So now for my juice, I kind of prepped it all for you guys so I'm not like cutting vegetables this whole video. So this is my juicer. Prepped all of this so we have cucumbers, celery, I washed everything too. I have a little bit of ginger, I put only this much of ginger. And then I have green apples and these like gala apples I think they're called. And then I have a half a lemon right here. Just turn it on. Doesn't need to warm up or anything. It's super easy. You just press on and you just start. I just kind of, it's one whole cucumber, not Persian cucumber, just the regular cucumber. Sorry if it's loud. And you just cut it up into small, like, narrow little sticks and you just start like that. And it'll be hard to see because I'm doing it, but at the end I'll show you guys, like, what it looks like. It probably takes, like, five minutes to do this. So you So I kind of just let it continue because like drips are coming out. I just make sure it's all juiced um, and then I'll just turn it off and I'll get a cup. It makes like a huge container. Um, this is probably good for like three of three or four of these glasses. So then I use like that much. Yeah, probably like two more glasses. So I like to put a little bit of cayenne pepper. It kind of adds like a little spice to it, a little kick. So I just sprinkle, it's spicy, so if you like spicy, it's like a little kick. You just add like very little. So this is the juice that you guys always see on my Instagram. So this is it, let's taste it. Mm. Oh my gosh. So good. Whenever I'm happy, if I like drink something I like or eat something, I'm always like, dancing. I was like, calls it my happy dance because I'm always happy after I eat or drink something I like. So if you haven't already done so, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And as soon as this channel hits 50,000 subscribers, I will be starting the giveaway. If you haven't already seen that in my last video, just reminding you if you are new viewers to my channel. Thank you guys all so much for the love and support and I will see you guys in my next video.